Good evening, everyone. How oh, welcome to day five of my five days of one eye week reviews. Tonight I will be reviewing that 2018 movie that's snowing. They can now make a round time of 83 minutes as it's directed and written by Pablo Rebol and it stars Lawrence Schoenberg as two roles Les Javas slash Greg Lupin Chris Simmons, Mike, Ben Manning, Bob, Pablo Ray Bold, Detective, in, de Detective Inspector, okay, Steve Johnson's Haskins, Joel Biscuit as Bruce, Joey P. Good, Rudy Metcalf. In some matter of Phelps, a scene of crying officer and couple. Oh, Paul Lumsden, a spray of the Paul. Couple victims. Lord Jonathan Scott. Cycles 1, Scott. Ford Wolf, Cycles 2, Steve, Rose Copson, Backpacker Chris, Chris Edwards, Backpacker Pete. Just some to mention, you got more actors, but they're the one that is the fine. The plot of the film. When that cursed new Holland film is being made in their village, locals, Lift, Mike and Bob, get their chance to crash, to cash in and get famous. As the local detective inspector and the helpless Sergeant Hoskins eventually traced a link in recent bloody mutations to the film. The, the race is on to stop the killing before our local heroes get caught up in the real blood and guts. Poison columns. Did I like it? Or did I? Not like always done with prose. Thanks for walking directing. A decent story. Decent characters, um Well uh, uh, the acting was not, not the worst I've seen, but not the best part. This movie has a really old eighties you know, big red feel. So we have to get credit to do to how how the acting is. I think how written I think how it's written as well. Everything really got a real eighties big grade feel to it. Which I didn't mind. I really liked the movie end. When we actually see the werewolf itself and start killing people in the studio. That's a hard lot. Really the hard lot. And as I mind the end of the story the short story of the you know the, um Haskins and Detective Inspector, you know trying to solve a, a crime of been going on. 
they inspect one guy, Greg Luton, thinking he's the killer. But who is it really? The killing happened when he's in Oxford. And it turned out to be someone like you like didn't expect to be. I loved the last second of the movie. Reveals that the cop to right all along. Hey Greg, you know, Lupin, he's lying in the bed. And his face, he all lit up in a van. You know, he's, he <laughs> rare with look. Real lucky in a full quite correct. No pros now that two cons. For Will Mary This is not gory. Well it is gory in ways. The aftermath is gory. But the attacks are disappointing and not gory. You see the worst got attack and it cuts to the next morning. And it just happened every time. The usher magic in the in the in his part. The start of the movie has had nice no, it's, um, it reminds me of, you know, to start a movie to, um, American Way from London. With the two backpackers walking through, the, you know, the, the mall. And they warned not to go, go there. And I wanted to laugh at when I saw the sign of the of the um of the sign, you know, something hog. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but it reminded me of the slaughtered lamb. Shot in Britain, like you know, like American way of London, but the. It just gave me some nods to it, which was for, for pretty cool. Now back to the cons. I already mentioned the kills are not shown. The only real gore you actually see is the bodies, you know, that's left. You must see a severed head. My see and hand on the ground. All that type of thing. The biggest con is how the world looked. Oh my god. Couldn't it look even more silly? It looked like a man in a suit. Wasn't scary. I mean, who could even be scared of that? Kid to probably laugh at it. And when I get killed, it was just totally bonkers. And one of the crew members said, Ah, oh, kill a bull. Or get you a sausage. Wrap, you know, wrap in aluminum foil. <laughs> oh, God. Got shot out, out, out of a light where the guys put a socket into one of those, you know, studio lights and get shot in the back of the air the wheel. I should have bought it in, in price for, for some humor. So that's no, that's another pro. <laughs> like, there is some humor in this. As well as some 
bad acting. That should be mentioned in the, in the con. Other than that, this is sort of, this is sort of fun movie. You know, right back to the old 80s big great star movies. Now, we all watch it again. Well, if I ever come across it, I'll definitely buy it. And, do I recommend it? Yeah, we have a big red style werewolf movies. We have a crazy vegetation. You might like it. You know, with, you know, with a, uh, you know, a studio mega zombie movie. Now to my other school. Well, that's the best. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Well, that's it for day 5 of my my reviews for Wild Week. Day 6 is tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And you've seen this, you've seen this movie a lucky of thoughts. And if you like, like this review, yeah, um, give me a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, comment, like, and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Keep safe. Peace.